Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online and work from home. So I have many different videos teaching you how to become a freelancer. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can make money by designing and selling logos. Now, in order to do this job, you do not have to have experience as a graphic designer. I'm going to teach you where you can find entry level logo design jobs. And after I teach you where you can find these kinds of jobs that you can apply to, I'm going to teach you how to create logos step by step and where you can get royalty free graphics that you can use for free for both personal and commercial use. And what that means is you can design a logo for a client and use these graphics within the logo completely for free. So first let's talk about where to find these logo design jobs. The first website is freelancer.com and what you're going to do is click on browse jobs and you can type in logo or logo design. And you can see there are all sorts of different jobs that you can apply to logo design, gourmet snack company, logo, logo and brand design, logo design for a website, logo for a restaurant. And at the side here, you can see how much money is the average bid for the job. At the side here, you can use these filters if you want to filter by the price. And you can see that some of these are jobs that you can simply apply to and others are actually a contest that you can enter to win. And you can see for this one, for example, the prize is $187. I will be doing more tutorials on freelancer.com, but this is just one of the websites that you can use to find logo jobs. And usually when people post what kind of logo they're looking for, they will tell you the sorts of colors that they want, different elements that they want you to include. You can see this one, for example, he has a budget of between 250 and 750 euro. Now for a budget this large, it's probably recommended that you have some experience designing logos. So if you have no graphic design experience whatsoever, I would recommend applying for jobs that have maybe a bit lower budget. So you don't have that pressure of having to deliver an absolutely amazing logo, but there's no harm in applying either. Another website is people per hour. Again, you'll click here on search and you'll go down to search projects to quote on. And then here you're going to type in logo or logo design. And you can see here, I need a logo design, new logo required, need a logo design. And you can see the price that these people are willing to pay. So if you are brand new, just getting started as a logo creator, you probably want to apply to these sorts of jobs, the 20 to 30 euro range until you are more comfortable with your skills. So here's an example of someone who's looking for a logo designer. They are a pet product selling company and they want to redesign their logo. So if I was applying to this type of job, I might even send them a draft of the type of logo I would create with them using pet elements and their tagline and then putting a watermark over it so they couldn't just, you know, use it without paying me. Another website you can use, of course, is Upwork and I've already typed in logo design and I have so many different tutorials on Upwork. But again, if you're starting out, I would filter by entry level and intermediate, choose people who are already payment verified and you can even choose people who have already hired people on Upwork so you know that they are serious and they have money that they are willing to spend. And again, you can see here this one entry level, they're looking for a talented logo designer and willing to pay $50. This one as well, $50. So there are a lot of entry level logo design jobs that you can apply to. Okay, so where do we go to create these logos? So we're going to use Canva. If you already know how to use Photoshop, go ahead and use that. That's great. But you do not have to know how to use Photoshop to sell your skills. You can create logos on Canva and then convert your Canva file to a Photoshop file to give to your clients if they want to make changes later on. But you don't actually need to know how to use Photoshop to sell logos. If you don't have Canva yet, you can sign up using my link in the description below this video. But one thing I want to show you is Canva has a free media license agreement. So what is allowed? All free photos, music, and video files on Canva can be used for free for commercial and non-commercial use. The only thing is if a photo, music, or video file contains an identifiable person, place, logo, or trademark, please ensure you check the image source or contact us if you're unsure. So if you are creating a logo on Canva, don't just use a logo that's already created on Canva and not make any changes. You want to make some changes so it's a unique logo. That's important. Okay, so let's get started creating a logo. 
go to canva.com after you've created your profile and you're going to click here on logo. This is going to create a blank logo design. Now you can see on this side, there are so many different logos. So for example, we saw someone was wanting to create a logo about a pet store and you can see there are so many different logos. However, you're going to want to use some elements from these, but you want to make something unique. If you just put in the new company's name here, you know, there are probably other people who are using this exact logo. So you want to create something unique for your client. So what I like to do is look at these for examples of the kinds of elements that you can use. But actually when we create our logo, I want us to take from the elements instead of just taking these pre-made logos, just use this for some inspiration. So we're going to create a logo from scratch. So one of the logo design jobs that I saw was a sailing company and they're looking for a new logo. And they said they want to include some nautical elements like a sailboat or something. So I'm going to show you how you can make that from scratch. The first thing we're going to do is click on elements and let's type in a sailboat. And you can see there are all sorts of these different little elements you can use. We can click on graphics and that way it's only going to show us the graphics. Now these ones are pro and you have to have a pro account to use them. But again, remember they said all of the free ones you can use both for commercial and personal use. So you can go ahead and just click on one that you like, and this will pop up here on your canvas. So let's say I choose this one. For example, you can change the colors of this by clicking on these color boxes and changing it to whatever colors that you like. You can also adjust the size by clicking on these nodes and clicking and dragging in and out to adjust the size. Okay, now let's add some text. We're going to click here on text and we're going to click add a heading. And then I'm going to change this font and you can choose whatever font you want. I'm going to change this to Teco bold and you'd put the company name, let's say in this case. And again, you can change the font size by increasing this here or just clicking and dragging on the nodes. You can also click here on effects and you can add a shadow if you want or a lift or any of these text effects. And you can change the transparency. You can change the color of the shadow, whatever you want. And then we can add a smaller subheading and change the font as well. And let's say we want to add a little wave at the bottom. I'm going to go back to elements and type in waves. And here we've got all of these different waves that we can use. And I'm going to click on this one and drag it over here. Then I'm going to change the color. So it's the same color as this blue, but this is kind of big. And let's just say I want to use just this one right here. What I can do is click on crop and click and drag to crop just this one wave that I want. And you can do this with any element. Let's say that you find an element of a bunch of paw prints and you just want to use one of the paw prints or one little heart or one little star. By doing this, it allows you to use pieces of the elements and it will make your logos even more unique. And I'm going to click on the sailboat and right click, select bring to front. So that will be on top of this little wave. And I kind of don't want it to be this dark blue. I want it to make it a little transparent. So I'm going to click here on transparency and just play with this. So it's not so bright blue. Now I'm going to click over here on the side and highlight the whole thing. And then if I go like this, I can change the size of all of the elements at the same time and just center it right in the middle. Okay. Let's say this is my logo or this is the logo I want to apply with. Now you don't always have to create a logo to apply for a job, but in any case, you're going to want to build a portfolio. So I recommend you create a bunch of different logos, just so you can say that you have created some logos to show samples of your work. Or let's say you have a friend or a family member that has a small business. Maybe you can say to them, listen, I would like to design you a logo for free just so I can have some experience and then they can give you a written testimonial. So now what we're going to do to download this is click share download. And if you want to download it as a transparent background, you will have to get the premium version, or you can just download it like this with the white background. Now, of course, if you are actually working with a client, you'll want to give them the transparent file so you can afford to get the premium membership. But if you're just applying to jobs, you can just unselect this and select download. 
and then you'll be able to show this as your example. Now, let's say you want to apply to a job and actually, you know, give them some ideas of what you would create for them, but you don't want them just to take it and use it. What you can do is go over here to text and then click add a text box and let's put sample and we're going to change this to gray and click on the rotate icon and can make it a bit bigger like this and put it over top and then we're going to adjust the transparency all the way down something like this so that way you've watermarked it um, and they can't just take your logo now another thing you can do instead of watermarking it the way i showed you is go to smart mockups which is canva.com slash smart mockups and let's type in ceramic mug and let's find one of the free ones that you can use let's say this one here you can choose any sort of product and what we're going to do is insert our logo here so it looks really professional and you're showing them hey this is what i can design for you and this is what it's going to look like on your merchandise or on your product packaging we're going to click select upload upload the logo you just created and select it and then click select and you can see it's just added our logo to the mug now this works best if you upload a transparent version of the logo so then you're going to click adjust image and this is how it's going to look like on the mug so you can just position it to however you want and how big you would like it you can also drag here on the sliders we want to center it for sure and you can even rotate it as well if you need to then click save and then you'll click save mock-up and then download and so here you have a really professional looking logo on the mug and you can add this to any type of smart mock-up that you would like so when you are applying to these logo jobs make sure to have a portfolio what you can do is actually resize all of the different logos and put them all on the same page and you could put samples of your work so so you could create something like this with your name for example designs by jess or whatever your brand name you want to be and put all of your logos here on one page to give them a sample and that way they don't have to download four different images they can just see them all at once so what i would recommend you do is open up canva start creating your own logos again you can click on templates and type in whatever niche it is you're looking for to use some of the elements to get some ideas of the types of logos you can create and then what i would do is go to elements and individually type in little elements that you can use and you can see there are so many cute little design elements that you can use as well so try to make them as unique as possible you really want something that's quite custom and not just copying and pasting the logos that you find under the template section especially if you are selling them to clients however you can use any of these design elements within your logo designs for free i hope you guys have fun exploring the different job opportunities that are out there if you have any questions about canva you can ask me in the comment section below this video i've also linked you to my tutorial on how to convert a canva file to an adobe photoshop file so that way you can also provide your clients with the source files as well if they want to make any edits so thank you guys once again for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and i will see you in my next tutorial